mondjuk a minút. Oh, okay, just put the camera in the other pen. Infatti uno mi, mi, mi sono... mi sembra di sì, perché mi pare quando sono fatto di scuola. Iniziamo. Ok, iniziamo. Sì. Eh, allora, eh, let's talk about the FTP model. So the standard library comes with a model to make FTP connections uh, with all necessary functions. We are not going to step all, to spend all time all time here, just only to show how it works, because it's better to, to go mm -hmm. forward. Uh, so we import uh, the F, FTP Lite OS and Glob. Glob, this is interesting, you, maybe you can you, uh, have this, because this uh, is used to obtain all the files that are in a place with if we say glob, and here what is uh, we can use the what type of file with asterisks, and it returns a list with all the files that uh, <coughs> fulfill the criteria that we are doing this. So in this example, we are uh, using FTP library, OS and glob. So we set up a string variable that is called indir, that is where is the location of the file that, that we want to upload to FTP. Mm -hmm where the file will be placed on the FTP server, what are the list of files that we want to uh, upload it. Remember, this is the, we, we, are, we create a string which is the path and the type of files, okay, here, and FTP live, so with this comma, we say, what is the server? So FTP, the command FTP, open this uh, mm, uh, object, which is the server. This is now pointing to the server. The arm with, uh, we make the login with this. FTP login, the user, and the password. So remember that FTP is now the object containing the, the server, FTP server, okay? With this command, we, ch we ch uh, change the, the dir in the, within the FTP, and we put, we put all the files 
in this way. So five contains all the lists, is a list with all the files we want to put. And we, we make a four. F if FF is going to be each file here, it's a string, the, the name of the file. We we need to open that file in order to put open and this is the, now the object that point to that file and this this is how it's uploaded with store line this is a command of FTP which is store I mean put and where is the, the where is the path and the 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 file in file remember is the object that point to the to that file and we close at the end so with this we, we upload everything that is uh, all the list of files that are in files uh, uh, list okay for SSH there is no specific model so we but we can use uh, um, a system command um, uh, which is pex expect pex expect so we define for example how to do this we import pex expect we import time uh, we define a variable which is the host to connect and the password, okay? So be careful because this is a plain password, so anyone using the code can, can see that. So we open the connection with pexpect spawn and the, the variable ssh. ssh, remember this type of format in, in Python? Mm -hmm. This is, sub, uh, is going to be substituted by the name of this host, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. So this opens the SSS connection. <coughs> we send the password with send line. Open the connection, send the line. And now we can try, the, the, the connection is open, we can try any command in the remote host. For example, the, uh, asking what is the site in the disk, what is the, the empty site of the application of the, of the disk. So we read, we create this object, we spawn, spawn is and here the command that we want to uh, run in the remote host, and we read the, the output with key read and print, and we will see the result, okay? And come close, SSH close, to close the connection, okay? Very simple. Okay, let's see now, which is that will be very interesting, how to handle with error in the code, okay, an exception, and how to debug error. So, uh, okay, so for now, for that, we are going to create in a text file a program with some error with code that we are going to introduce some error and, and we will try to check what is the problem. So it's very simple. We are going to edit the error that pi, import dumpy and assign three variables. And we we have here uh, different results by uh, making some uh, math operations. Some of them could be wrong, okay? and print the, the output. And we are going to run that code and see what happens, okay? Let's try to run outside the Python terminal, okay? The IPython, just in a terminal of the system, in bash, for example. Remember that it's only necessary to make Python 3 and the name of our code. Mm
Okay. Good. Now you can open your okay. <laughs> you side saving the And now we run outside, outside, ah, outside, outside. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, what I can be? Oh, being is, is not being is a, a command just to edit. You have to remove. Ah, the bad yeah. one is just a Linux command to okay. for editor. So this is not <coughs> inside. In Linux, you this will be open a text okay. editor in the terminal, and you write from here import to the print. So uh, you remove uh, the first one. Okay. Anna? Yes. Did you expect the server? No. Not division by zero. Uh, no, no, yeah, yes, no, no, yes, no, yes, yes, it's fine, it's ah, fine. Okay. Yes, yes. Division by zero, okay. for sure. Division. It's a division by zero mm. here. Yeah. Okay? The thing, division by zero. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We we have a place in that yeah. to, to deal with. The thing is that the error will stop all the rest of the code, so we don't know maybe if it's sometime, if there is our error, we want to continue because this is a small part of the code that we want to, to continue to, until the end. Okay? So, we, we, to avoid the code stopping to, due to an error, we can use try and accept commands. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, we'll, let's set it the, the code and introduce try and accept. So, the purpose of try and accept are this. So this is the code. Okay. It's exactly the same. But for each operation, we say try this one. If something happens wrong here, the code is not going to stop. It's going to accept and print something and continue. Okay? And it's going to print the final result. Okay? So I'm using here only three. So but you can use the five uh, just to, to make make it short. Okay, you, we can use the, the first three results only, just to check it, okay? So try this thing, if, if, it, if it is okay, it's going to avoid accept and continue. If something is wrong here, it's not going to stop and go to here to accept and print something if you want, if not, whatever. That is just to, to say here you can put anything, okay? But it always goes with this pair of try and accept. This is usually, I mean, this is a way, but uh, you cannot uh, make this in all the call to the function that you are going to have in a long program. Okay, this is, for example, uh, you said to, if something you think that something could be wrong there, for example. Uh, a piece of code that uh, is calling an outside program and that program could fail. So maybe you can try, uh, you put a try in that type of uh, functions. So now we run the code and see that at the end it's going to print everything. <laughs> okay, show me the code. Okay, make a, a, bit, a, a white line there Just so we, it's more clear the code. Okay. Mm -hmm. And separate the each line print. No, no. Ah, that one, that one. Okay. So, okay, now. Uh -huh. Important oh, no. bit at the beginning. Yeah. <coughs> As NP. Come 
cioè, che cosa uh, first error is prima dice che uh, oh risolve yes because if you are if you are if this is wrong if the result is nothing so you have to say what in case that's the same but it also says here it says perfetto No, è un errore no? mostra sembra Windows eh? quindi non show it oh don't show error so in this case doesn't pick anything and doesn't show error so yeah that's it I don't know what this is this is spider or what ah no it's the Linux the, the core Linux in Windows No. No? So no. what is this? Back, back. Uh, pronti anaconda? Anaconda, no. Mm. Something. It doesn't show error there. So, but it's doing nothing because uh, uh, it doesn't bring this thing, okay? Mm -hmm. So something is wrong. So now do the try and accept mm. thing. It's working? Yeah. Okay, but it doesn't print any. Oh, yeah, it's, it prints out at the end with try and accept. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay. Why? Why is it in the log? What? Yes, this is okay. Okay. It's okay, yes. Ah, because. It Yeah, it's a warning. It's a, it it's those are warning. warning. Okay. Yeah, because you yeah, know, yeah. Python 3 show uh, if also. something wrong, also show where it could be the problem. Okay. Okay? That's it. Okay. So, uh, let's try something more difficult now. Because we, we cannot put any try and error <coughs> in each uh, system call, in each uh, code, line of code. We can use a debugger. Okay? Uh, okay, be, be, okay, or it's a, or we can give uh, some information. Uh, for example, um, to see if there is a division of, uh, error value or division mm -hmm. by zero in accept, we can say okay, uh, try this, and if something is wrong, tell me if a zero division error or a value error. Okay. <coughs> So in except we can sh uh, give this pair of uh, keyword to show more information. These are the only two keywords? Or uh, no, there, there is an another more. You can, uh, with except interro interro interrogation, you can show mm -hmm. more. Uh, okay. So in, the, in this case, is what it's going to do is is to show more information about the error that happened. You can try in a couple of them, just yeah, to see. Okay. So show more error. Yeah, I see. There are many. Many of them, yeah. Okay. Actually, uh, yeah, yeah, there are many of them. Okay. But usually it's uh, of a value error, or a division error, or... Yes. Okay? Except is part of a package. I need to no, except is a command. It's a command uh, for the standard library of math. Okay. Let's <coughs> always go in pair. In English. Non fare la parentesi quadro perché sotto le faccio con alt dove c'ho la accentata. Però non me lo dà qui su web Max. Mm. La parentesi qua devo andare un po'. La pulsione di sotto la faccio così. Con l'altra non c'è
No, that's, uh, we will see that uh, later. We are going to see how, how in the, this is a, a, a audit program a, a, a paradigm. So the thing is that if you have a class that is a subclass on another, mm -hmm. that subclass uh, inherits all the property of the first one. So exactly. you don't want to, you don't need to care about that because all the, the thing that you define here is going to be heritage uh, inherited by, by the subclass. This is just very simple. But in case I want to handle that exception in the, in the parent class, mm -hmm. not in the, uh, the You can pass we'll through, accept. you can pass... Uh, we'll put an accept or... Yeah, yeah we'll something... We'll try. Uh, to the first class, to the parent class. Yeah. Well, it's, it's by default it's going to be there because the, sub, the, the parent class can see the subclass, so it's going to should be directly passed through. Oh, okay. Should be directly passed pass through. So yes, yes, the, yes, the, yes, the, yes, of, of the main class. Yes. Okay. <coughs> Let's go to a, a more advanced uh, example now using the the, book, the Python debugger. No. Okay. PDB. PDB is a uh, is uh, a model to handle with uh, to work with debugging a, a, a code so let's let's go to create a new python file call it debug.py with ve these very short uh, commands okay so the first uh, thing in the in our new code will be import pdb which is the 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 model for handle with uh, for the booking the our code okay so the first this is the first line we we set up two variables a and b 20 and 0 we here pdb set trace here we set a point for testing to debug the code okay so and now we define two the two division one is Two, sorry, two functions. One is a, a division of two numbers, and the second is to print the a result. These are our two di two functions, and here we call the first one. Okay. Note that in the second div function we are calling the first one. This is not a problem in Python. Okay. Okay. We, so. We have this function, call division, we have print result, which call the first one and print the result. And then to print the result of the division, the result of the division the, of A and B, we just call this one. Okay? Save that and run in a terminal. First time that you run the program, the, the code is going to stop in the place that you have placed the, the starting point. So when you run the code, because we have set up a starting point to the book, the code is going to stop there. Okay? And now you can make, you can type some commands to see what's going on, to interact with the code and debug the code. For example, what is print result? Print result, yeah. print result is the output. Ah, yeah, right. Okay. But it's, it's, it's now it's going on. I don't understand. Oh, you are. Yeah, now you are. You are doing step by step. That is the output. Uh, this is a. Now, I mean, yeah, here is the the stop. You you need to to know what command to to 
you are in the debug uh, code. Okay? Yeah, and, and okay, I have it. So this is the output, okay? We, we say, uh, I don't know what is the nine. Okay, so now we are here at this point, okay? Yeah, I'm here. Yes. Yeah. Now we can type S to execute the next line. Go step by step until we, we catch an error, okay? Mm -hmm. We can S. Oh, be probably because it's out. Could you go out with S it okay? Oh, because you are no. okay now. Uh, no, 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 no. It's, this is must be outside the Python. Okay. There, Python three, and you name and the name of the of your code. Okay. Now. Now. S. S. Next line. Next line. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. S. Execute the next line, but even it goes through each step of the function. Okay, it tells you what it, all that the part Ah, division the part by zero, zero, for sure, it, because there is a division by zero. So we, we say this, we, we type this. Okay, I'm going to show you. Okay, so. But I'm uh, wait, I don't know if the other step. What is the situation with that? Okay, let's say. I'm going to resume this. Aspetta, Sebastian. Si, si. Un momento, un momento. As to execute the next line, but also go step by step in each function, you have the file. And for the next line, but without going into uh, the function, within the function, just take the value of the function output. C to continuing to another control point, which is when it's reached. R to go until the next return. L to list show the code around the current line. P, my expression, to evaluate the, that expression, and Q for, to quit. So now, let's do this. Let's debug our code, like this. So first. Not so active. Okay, let's hope. Let's hope, yes. I have an error. Uh, okay, let's there. first because wait all, all Everybody must be now in the book. Okay. Process. What is the problem? No, because if everything is red, is something wrong. Yes, yeah. but uh, this uh, is... Yes, here. Okay. That's it. Okay? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there you go. And now room outside. And now terminal. This is P and the expression. No, no, this one. L is L. This show our code. So, where, Sebastian, where does it stop? Why now it stopped the line division? Stop when you you set up the the breakpoint. I so what, is the, what is the back break point? There? No, it didn't stop there. Look. No, okay, it should be. No. Okay. okay. It stops at wait, line wait. 7. Why it stops at line 7? Why exactly? I mean, no, 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 it's showing, no. Oh, wait. Why that? Okay. It no, no, say, wait, wait. No, this is the next line, that is, but it's not in there. Right now, so it is no. It says it stops here. Yeah, so, so why ignore the everything up there? No, it's not happening. Not ignore it. And why did it stop here? Here there. because you place the set the the, the breakpoint there. So it's, it's showing you we, will be this. What do you mean by breakpoint? Breakpoint is that the debugger is going to go through your code when it reaches this thing is going to stop, not going to execute the rest. So Good. it's because of this set that's trace. Right. Oh, right. okay. okay. Yes, it's yes. the set trace where that is a break point. Okay, start from here. You start debugging from the this point. Debugging, reach that point and stop there, waiting for comma. Okay. Because you are the good. So if okay. I have a long co pro program and I know the first part is everything correct and then I want to debug from it. one line mm -hmm. on, then this set trace 
we should go at that line. At that line. Okay. You can put several ones. Okay. So if you go okay, I see, I see. again, continue and go to, to, okay. to jump to the next one. Okay, I see. What's okay. Okay, yes. Are we all in the, the Booker mode? <clears throat> No, for the spider. No, no, a spider, no? Because the anaconda. It's a problem because it doesn't show. Let's do it from the Linux. Yes. Let's do it from PDB. Okay, quick. Leader is the master. The master is the master. Check the other way. From the game? From PDB and that division before the game. It's not clear. Yes. The book. Okay, stop there. So, the book, are you into the book? Okay. Anna, are you into the book? Yeah, yes. okay. Stop there. So, the book is going to show the a line where this is now is the prick point, like this. Uh, it's going to show this thing. So, yeah. meaning that, mm -hmm. okay, this is, will be the next line to execute. I'm, I'm waiting, PDB, I'm waiting for your commands. The first thing that we can show is press L to show the code around the breaking point. Now in the debugger, press L. What is showing? Show. That's why. So show around the, where the, the breaking point what is the code. So you can see what could be the problem, okay? Mm -hmm. Now we want to print A and B. So okay. B... So, but, so wait, mm -hmm. if, if there is no error in the program, it doesn't stop, it goes through the program. No, it stops always at the breaking point. So the, this is, the, the, the debugger doesn't know if there is an error or not. Mm -hmm. This is a breaking point. Okay, no, here. Yeah. So, because we are importing PDB and we set a trace, when the code is going to be executed, it will stop right here. The first sentence after the, the, the trace. And it's, it will wait for any <coughs> command that you want to use. And the commands are those that are shown before. Yeah. So now we show, for example, we use oh, like this. Uh, after. Okay, yes. so we use L to list everything around this, the, the stop point, okay? To see what could be the problem. We can print the variables that now that has been uh, assigned before the breaking point because all this, the, the variables, all the stuff that are after the breaking point, the, the, the trace, is not assigned, is not executed yet. So let's uh, see the, the code around and print what are the values of A and B? Like this. P, use P and show A and B. What are the values of... So we see that we, one is 10 or 20 and another is 0. And mm -hmm. then we can see that, okay, this is the problem because we are going to divide by 0. Mm -hmm. But and I want to change that value. So you can change directly mm -hmm. there with this. Exclamation mark and say, okay, B could not be zero, B is 2.5. And we change the value. And we press continue with the command C. Continue with the code. Because we have changed the values B is not going to, to show any error. Mm -hmm. So this debugger, I don't understand the usefulness. Okay. The point is, it understands what are the critical parts of the program. It doesn't. It doesn't mean that there are problems. Uh, for in this case, if I instead of using twenty and zero, I use twenty and two, where there is no problem with the division, it still stops at the same point. For me, sure. Meaning that it, it just highlights the critical parts of the program. Yeah, but the thing. This is how it works. You don't use the debugger if you, you write the code and everything is fine. But think about a very long code 
and you run and you detect a problem, uh, there is something wrong in the output, but you don't know where it is because it's very complicated. Then you, uh, but you think, okay, maybe it's there because I don't know what is the value of this no, variable. No, 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 in this no, no. My question is only that it doesn't, it, it, it shows the potential uh, uh, problem, it doesn't show a problem. Then, because in getting the division here, even if the, it is 20 on M2, it is a potential problem, it's no, not a problem. Yes, yes, that, that's, but the thing is that because you can go step by step in the code, yeah. it, ca it could show you where is exactly the problem, mm -hmm. okay? Is every, everybody fine with this? Mm. Okay, let's uh, move to another uh, subject, which is object-oriented programming. Okay, so Python is basically uh, object-oriented programming. Uh, that is a way of uh, structure the code for a special organization and reuse uh, for other uh, new projects. Um, the thing is that the le it's very abstract, so it's not very intuitive. Usually, I never program using this paradigm because uh, I'm more like a, a Fortran guy. And the way that that is, I, this is what I understand. I th I want to see the things clear, right? So, but uh, internally, Python work like this. Okay, creating object, a uh, method associated an object. Okay, but. You can avoid this if you, if you want because it's going to work perfectly in the other way. <coughs> it's, it's interesting to show you how it works. So, let's start by defining classes. Okay? So, uh, if we want to, we need to construct a very structured uh, new data with particular properties we can define a class, which is something similar to a def, a, def, a function, and define a function. Uh, let's say that we want to create a special data type called star. So we want, we are going to write the, the this file, star.py, in a text file, okay? So, this is our class. This is something that should have a uh, all classes. First is the definition of class. The start with the, the argument is an object, and this is a, and it's, all this have, must have a special function that called init, which construct the element of the start class. Any element of this class is called object. This is special uh, uh, function is. It is executed when a new object is created. Okay? Here we we are using a, a input variable that is called name, but could be empty also. Okay? The thing is that any class must be defined with this and so, but name, and we can have different uh, uh, input uh, here name, type, whatever. Okay, but at the moment we are going to write only this thing. This is another special class, which is a special method which is print. Okay, that is used to print the, the object in the class. So what we do now with this? Uh... Now we, we are going to uh, create objects. First, okay. So uh, we have a variable that called itself that is including each function. Uh, the function in the in the classes are called method, which uh, point to the specific object that we are creating. Self always point to the specific. 
object that we are creating, and this is a keyword. Now we can create the, uh, the object type of a star. Uh, let's create an object. So we save this, okay? And we, what well, we have with the program, we will have a library called star put that fine, a new object star uh, with a parameter name, which is uh, uh, mandatory. So we can create a new object like this, okay? Start equal, we, we import uh, start, and we create a new object like a start one is start dot start name, start two equal start the name. Okay, so we have two new objects, start one and start two. So um, uh, wait, uh, Sebastian, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. kind of lost. So we need to generate a file like this, like this, this part that is called the star dot part. That's right. Okay, only that. And then what we do with that? Save into a file yeah. and import. Okay. So we we type within IPython import star. That uh, now is a class. It's a library okay. containing an object uh, stars, and we can uh, create uh, new objects. Uh, with different parameters, because we have def defined only one parameter, which is name, okay? We can now assign uh, this name to star one, name to star two, so on, and print the name. Look at now, we have associated name method to each ob object, and the method is name, which is because it's the only one we have defined it. Sorry, here we, this should be a new line, right? Star one, one line, star two, another line. It's the same for print, okay? Okay, is it working? Yes. Okay. So now we can add more methods. <laughs> I don't know if you understand that. It's working? <laughs> okay. okay. So you probably need to answer at least three yes before okay. it going on. I would okay. suggest. Okay, it's working. Perfecto. Final trade. Ahora, import. Lo importo. Import. Import. Start. Fai l'import fuori in file questa cosa che gli dici eh, ah, no. star 1 uguale star 1 uguale, 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 uguale star 1 uguale star 1 fuori quale c'è dentro file uguale no no c'è un uguale star ponti ponti tabulatore dice sta cosa star is an object star a a e il nome parentesi sì, e il nome della prima sta sì. qualcosa no, no, ci mettiamo da tipo word o byte bene ok grazie now you can start one pon, 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 punti ah, tabulatore punti, punti, punti tabulatore Name. That is the. So that we have a method now associated to that one. Okay? This is very simple, but we, we can make more things right now. Okay? We can, we, can have, uh, we can add new methods to the object. Now our object is star 1, star 2, this one of this is our object with some property. We, now we have only name because in our code, we say that it's mandatory here 
a name, okay? Mm -hmm. Here. Name. So this is the only property that we have mm -hmm. now. Okay? But we are going to add more. A little, some more. And we can make print of the... If we print the, the object, name, we, we print the object name, okay? Uh, then we, we, will show, we will show the name. So let's add some more mm, methods. So let's edit again our file, and we can add more methods. For example, we can define a counter that is num of a star, which is going to take into account of the number of star that we, in the class that we are going to, to create. Okay? And, for example, we can use a, 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 a function to define uh, convert parsec to light years, for example. The argument is the distance, and it converts to light years. Okay? And then we can add more more methods. For example, we can set, set now is set up the name, but we want to add the magnitude of the star. For example, like this. Set magnitude, this is the method. Remember, oh will self. Self means that uh, is going to associate to the object the property. So cell will be star one dot mag, for example. Okay. So we we define uh, the magnitude, a, met, a method to to assign the magnitude, and a method to assign the parallax. And to method to obtain the magnitude and the parallax that we have assigned. So, C. We can call this whatever we want, right? The set mark could be another name. But usually, uh, if you see the Python method, usually set something, get something with underscore. So, we can use this or we can use another, another one. And we set mark, we, set, we, we are assigning this property to our object that we are creating. And the same for parallax. But also, we create two methods to print to get the magnitude that we that has already assigned it, which is get math and get this. And finally, a uh, last method to get the total number of stars that we have included, which is get star number. So it's printed total uh, sum of the stars. that we have added this is stars this is a counter right in in it in the function in it we have we every time that the the object is created go through the init function and add one number to the to uh, num star variable
we, we don't need that. This last one is a repeat of the string salt. You don't need that, this thing. Okay. okay, the last one is repeated. It doesn't hurt to be there, but it's not necessary. the classes? No, but uh, I, I need to add some other. Oh, okay. okay. But uh, if I import star, it seems okay. No? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then mm -hmm. I, I I should create uh, the, the object, yeah. no? Mm -hmm. But uh, you have to log out and, and log in ah. outside to read it. You have changed this the file you have to look, go out of the of the ipython okay here here yeah. Yes, we start a library and, and this is the class. This is the object. Yes, and uh, we have this is my be in a new line, right? This is a new okay. line and this is a new line. Okay. okay. And this is also the, the object. The object. Yes, this is point we have creating an object and this is the new the object that we have uh, already created. Okay? Okay. So you can uh, use start one that uh, name for a property of the name of that object. Okay. Mm. What? So, so this in this column, no? Um, mm -hmm. Okay, star. Oh, yeah, because you have called the yes, capital letter. So yes. it, it should be star, capital letter, dot, dot star. star. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you can import, you can say import star capital letter as star. Okay. Small letter. <coughs> okay. So do we have the all the method, new method implemented? Yeah. Okay. Now we can import the star. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's go. And we can import the stars and, and use the, the new method that we have uh, created. Okay? One like in this example. Uh, one curiosity. Uh, mm -hmm. I get uh, with the get stars number, I only think, uh, added the entire, but it says the total number of stars is two. Oh, probably because you have not logged out. Uh, I think I did. Really? But, but uh, probably Should be one. Yeah, but this start with zero, right? Because yes, you call it twice. Yeah, I start from here. So. No, but you have to put zero at the beginning to start the count. Well, oh, it's here, right? Oh, it's zero there, so no problem. Yes, it's zero. So okay. I started from here. Start, start. But there was an error at some point. Okay. Oh, oh. oh, yeah. So the variable is an error. But the, the count is, is increasing. Number of. Okay. I'll say. I, I define the first one. I'll, I'll no, you define time. twice. Is that right? Because I define. So I did the first time. Yeah. Start, but, start without Altair one. Yeah, but this so count that's one. Count it twice. Yes. Okay. But in that case. So when I do not define anything like this. So I mean, it's created, but the output is going to empty. Okay, but in that case, I could do also like this. Uh, I'll tire uh, mm -hmm. this, no, this here, and then I can do yes, yes, that's right, for, this. for sure. 
and then I thought, yeah. get, uh, get whatever. Uh, this, if you have a sign at this. Ah, uh, uh, okay, no, then no, no, okay. Okay. set. No, 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 set. no, set. S, that's right. Yes. Set. Uh, five, four. Set, set parallax. Ah, uh, set mag. Set mag or set parallax. Set parallax. So set parallax. And get this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, so okay, no, now I yeah. have an empty element. So you cannot do anything, you cannot oh, no, get this no, no, no. because it's not okay. Yeah, okay, save. because it's not saved, save it. it's not created. Sorry. But do you know, maybe sometimes when this is a function that does something and you only need that the function is applied to this variable. And you don't want it to to be saved yeah, anywhere. Yeah. Some, that, yeah. that's something that you there can... are there are some method that is actually internal upgrade the the, the one thing you want to apply okay, to that one. Okay. Like sort for okay. example. Mm -hmm. so. <coughs> C'è qualcosa che non set fai ti dai solo la parallassa. Sì. E poi quando fai get disk ti dà la lista. No, 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 ok. Non mi carica. Non mi carica. Cosa? Qui non mi dice niente. Qui, ok. No, no, but yes, but in here. No, ok. Io gli faccio import. No, import. But you have to log out if you have modified. Okay, now uh, create a new star. Let's say Deneb. For example, you can say star one or Deneb equal. Uh, load of, ah, okay, load of auto. Uh, Ma, okay. Is okay. Yeah, good. Okay, but you look faster. No. No, no, Altair dot Altair dot set bar set underscore underscore bar and numero zero point one nine five. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So because you have maybe you don't exit from here um ah no, okay no, uh, the, the same problem the same yeah. problem yeah. Ah. No, why do we have bene mm, yeah. Yeah. Get, because it's a function mm -hmm. ah, the parenthesis, parenthesis. Yeah. Okay. perfect okay see you me the Okay. How did you call start? Okay. Okay. All this must be displaced. Everything after two points is four four places. So must be displayed four places.
you have to log out of the iPython code and log again because you know if people don't but it's not going to not sufficient. It's not no, no, it's not. You know. Okay. You have to log out and log in. Have you logged out? No. Yeah. <laughs> or open a new console, a new one? No, just the stuff we cut now. Because this is proven, so we should add this. Okay. PC. Import. Uh, I think we should. Import. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, so objects that are classes that are created in this way has an interesting property. That call it heritage. So uh, that allow to reuse property of other object in a new class. Let's say let's define a new class that call that uh, call it uh, in a new uh, file that is in the new file. We, we can use the new file that uh, with the, the same file. Sorry. Uh, we, were, we are going to define after the, the start class a new class that is called uh, WD star, uh, white run. Uh, but instead of object, we are going to use the previous class defined. So everything that we make in the class star is going to be, can be used in the new class WD star. Okay? We can add a new uh, method. This is Remember, this is always the same, init, and here we, we need two parameters, name, and we are going to define a new parameter that is an input, is type, which is the, the type of the white graph, okay? So, set name, name, so name is going to, to take from the, the, the parent class the, that we are currently using, the start class, type, and a counter, um, and we are going to define the, uh, a new function which is get type and return the type that we have assigned to the object. And, uh, and print which return the, the name of the white draft and the type of the white draft.
But you have to, if you have modified this, you have to log out and log in. Ah, okay. Aspetta. Eh, sì. Allora, ci sono. Allora. Ah. Allora. Un po' di Ah, ok. Ok. okay. Tu ponti. Ah, ponti, ponti, ponti. No, di certo. No, 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 porque no lo leo. No, 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 no. classe star sì. li posso applicare comunque agli oggetti che definiscono la sì. classe V di star sì, perché le oggetti è le le prima, prima. start we import stars and now in the method some of the method will be in the library star will be star and wd star white draft star both okay so for a tail for example we can set up the name and the class and the type of the white drop so Sebastian this this um Mm -hmm. two common lines here mm -hmm. they basically because w when I do print out tile it's in something See. something different it's, yes. it's, it's like the, the variable of tile yeah. now white draft is white one mm -hmm. one would be a mm -hmm. type of type of D. Mm -hmm. that's because it ch it, these two lines change mm -hmm. the name of the variable yes. from self to This, yes, this, this so because using, yeah, this tape go here and go to the, the first name is and then to this, this. <laughs> and uh, okay, and so mm. Uh, mm. okay, with this, can we finish with the class uh, typing Python? Mm. Actually, okay. as I said, if your code are not a big uh, software of uh, to distribute and uh, complicated structure, probably you will not need it. Tabulation? No, no, but you, it's, tab, it's tabulation. This one. Yeah, no, I'm to go down this one. Tabulation, yeah, again, that's okay. Ah, okay, thank you. Um, in fact, it's not a yeah, this is because... Uh, Ah, this is true. Ah, okay. Okay. Let's move to a new subject, which is very interesting, funny, fancy, which is to create graphics environment. User interface and editor. Okay. Editor, I showed you before which one could be used. And for let's say that you have a, a code, but you want to create an interface, okay? Window with buttons to click, so you don't want to type, only click, okay? Is the window way, okay? So we will use 
take Inter, which is in the standard library, so you don't need to install anything. So let's create our first window, okay, with button and clicks. So we use from take Inter, import everything, we are going to import everything there. We are to create a, a object, which is, we call window, but you can call anything, by using Tiki, okay? And now we are going to put things in the window. So things that we can put is title, uh, radio button, uh, choices, all this stuff. Let's do step by step. So this is a very single one. So create just an empty window with this title, okay? Mm -hmm. And with this window, my loop, rise the window, you can work with that window, and the the code will continue when you close the window. So this will write the window, you can work with the window, okay? So let's do it. Always we work with, mm. it's better to work in a text file to do that, so we can save our work. Uh, not mm. yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, you can do, but if you want to change something, all the code that you are going to write just to save some place or you can still work with that right? okay. okay okay so window window uh, punti tabulation will show you everything that you can do with that object okay mm -hmm. Main loop, raise the window, so you can work with that and do whatever you want to do. So if I don't, if I don't launch the main loop, Nothing the happened. window is. In it's not created. It's not generated. <coughs> okay. So it's a, this writes an a infinite loop, which is all we check in the window until it's closed. And when you close the window, the, the application is destroyed. So you have to type again everything. Okay? So if, if you cannot go, do again window main loop because the application is destroyed. So this is because it's better to write in the text file everything to save. Okay, so everybody have the window? No. No, <laughs> no I have okay. a problem with my uh, desktop. Um, I have a problem with my so create a new file, call it window, okay. or win, okay, okay, mm. yeah, that's a plan, okay. save, and you can call, okay. with Python 3, this can be called for sure outside IPython, right, so you type and the, the, the window is present, okay, okay. Okay. Did you make the main loop there and destroy it? No. No, but you should, if you destroy the window, you have to type again everything, mm -hmm. okay? Because it's better you type in a text file. Because ah, you these all in the text file? Yes, okay. yes, in the text okay. file. And the other okay, perfect. With the title? No problem. Okay. No, 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 but you have, no, no, there's something, you, you have to, to make window that main loop. Yeah, do again, but use a text file to write everything, because okay. now you are going to miss. Okay, perfect, you can, if you close, now, mm. yeah. okay, if you do again main loop here, could you click there? Mm -hmm. I need to click. Do again, say, show nothing because the application is destroyed, okay? So, write everything in the text file. So now we can make some 
We can use keywords to create windows, for example. Oh, Let's say, uh, uh, um, we can create with that some side, which is using geometry. This is the pixel side. Okay? So, title, the title. The geometry is the size of the window. Uh, a label is just uh, to place, uh, to create a label that we are going a text that we are going to put inside the the, the window. So label, label. This is a command of uh, techinter. So say label using window that is the instance, the object that we have created before with the key, with this text and this font. Okay, and this side of the font. Okay, and we with green. So now we have a, a object that is the label, and the property of the object is one of the properties of the method is grid. So grid placing the, the text uh, where, where we want. Column in this ca case, column is a keyword, and row is a keyword. So we place first column, first row. We can have a button. So using button, add, so using button, we add to this window, and with this text, with this color, uh, background color, and this for, uh, foreground color. Okay. So button, you can click in the button. The thing is that now it's doing nothing, but we we, we are going to learn how. For some do. reason, doesn't take the background color. Hmm. What did, could you change the background to another? <coughs> okay. Yeah, doesn't change. Hmm, strange. Okay. It's not strange. Doesn't doesn't they complain? Okay. No, so it doesn't just, complain. I, I don't know. So okay, so. But uh, can I have? Uh, how do I have for my Python an an app about the use of button? I mean, can I button a yeah. question mark like this? Yeah. But okay. Yeah, there are the, the options. Those are the options. But th there is no. The I mean, image there is, It's not the thing about the. You know. The, Oh uh, yes, because the arguments here, the key arguments is there. So oh, okay, is so oh, is uh, is the usual arguments oh, for right. background. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. in, in the web page, uh, there is. Yeah. Okay. There is. Okay. Uh, yes. In the help uh, of the of the, I think is, uh, in take take inter main main web page yeah, yeah. everything right. comment. Uh, okay. So now, so. This button, click button, do nothing. So we have to define a function, okay? Is everybody at the bottom? <laughs> no, <laughs> just the window? Okay, laptop. okay. No, but it with, what's the problem? Saying, you, you said to, to, to launch him from Python 3, no? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so Oops. Something's trying to and close the window. <laughs> yeah. So try to, to do it within IPython. So something with with Mac. The one that's not on you, the one that's not on No, not necessarily. Oh, no, I no, no, no. Python. I Python. Copy. Oh, no, okay. No. Um, space. Copy. 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 Problem. Import. Have you import uh, the Inter? Yeah. No, probably no. So can you write here? In? No, 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 no. It, it's not the a Python. You have to go to a Python. You have paste there in in the terminal, not in the i Python. You are not in i Python. No. So run i Python there. Now copy this. Ah, okay. And paste. So, uh, 
I have to yeah. have this copy on this. to have saved this. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Now, Anna? From inside the... Uh, mm. Can you show me? The same. Can you show me? Okay. No. No, it's... Mm, yeah. Go to there. Yeah. Through there. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. Where is the code? No, 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 no. Show me the code. The text file. No, not here. The, the text file. You put here. <coughs> Could you move this to the same? No? What is no? No problem. Show me. Okay. Copy. Oh. Copy. Command C. Oh. Command Z. Shift. How can you un undone? Come and see, I'll go to the terminal now and paste there. Yeah, enter. Mm -hmm. Something with the... But it's there, I don't know where is the, the terminal. I can see the, the window. Maybe it's from some place, in a different place. Create some somewhere. No, there. No? No? No, it's there. No, no, no. no. Con la Windows, come si fa? Come? A posto, questo l'ho fatto fino a Bolton, no. yeah. poi adesso devo tornare dentro. Sì. Copia. Copia. Ah, copio questo? Sì, questo. questo è. Ah, copio qui. Aggiunta. Aggiunta. Shift, no. Shift, control. Sì. No. Incolla. Uh, okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, e eh, try? Ora è main loop. Window. Main loop. Ah. No, window. That. Uh. Window. Ponti. Ponti. Main loop. Function. Oh. Yep. Yep. Ah, okay. Perfetto. Dunque, dove stai? Ah, ok. Sta bene. Molto strano. Siamo proprio buttato fuori. Eh, buttato fuori. Ok? Fiore? Bene? Sì, funziona? Perfetto. Ecco, Let's let's add some function to the bottom to make something, right? So we have to define let's let's define this function that because we have created a label, okay? So we define a function that we can call click it. So 
that is associated to the label. Remember that we have created, which is called LPL, which with the function configure, and to show this test text. So this will show this text when uh, L, uh, the label is clicked. Okay. Now we have to say to the button. So this function click it, create a label. Mm -hmm. And we we associate uh, this function we have to associate it, we want to associate it to the button that we have created. This is because in button when we create the button, we say what is the command associated? Command equal our function that we have created. So every time we click in this button will run this function. And it has no return this function? No. Uh, yes, yes, yes. The return is that. Which one? The, the text. Oh, this is the return? Yeah, the return, yeah. Implicit. I mean, the function has not returned, but has an object. So... I thought that every time you have a function, you need a return. No, function doesn't need a return. Only to return something that you want. That you want, okay. But because label is defined outside this modified label. Oh, this okay. method modified label by assigning, assigning this text to this label that we have created before. Okay? So what this function is doing is modifying this level yeah. that we have, the text of this level, okay? Mm -hmm. With the command configure. As a matter of fact, if you, uh, after create level, you can uh, use the tab and see what that one of the functions is configured, that is change the, the text of the level. Okay. Have you tried? So I'm going to put this one up for the ground, the background, and I'll put it up Show me. Si 
Bene? Chi ha su Windows fa le funzioni, background, background. Sì? Ah, sì, è vero. Ah, ho modificato un po'. Sì, funziona adesso. Funziona. Cosa è successo? Non funziona? Eh, non so. Se lo faccio per lui. Cos'è che non ti funziona? No, è anzi. Sì, è anzi. Background ora ci sono le sue tecniche. No, non lo so. Forse so. l'arancione rosso non si sta bene. Oh, si chiusa. No, ho provato tutti quanti. Si perfino sulle. Can si vede. Ok, so, niente. Un po' di meno che. Ok. Il rosso non mi piace per niente. Bene. Brutta roba. Si, ma non è verde. So, eh. More things. We can act very, very. So, I can show you all the things that we can do. We can add some text, so with entry, so we can write text there and, and get up uh, what is the message. Uh, we can also use uh, a combo window, so uh, this is a, a type of uh, where you have several choices, okay, so you can select but, uh, the values or a check button that you can check, radio buttons, all this, radio buttons, um, and there are so many of them that you, we, you can have. Okay? Just some example here of radio buttons. Or, or other functions that you can use. Okay? So in the main page of, uh, the, of the project, it, Tech Inter, there are full description of the, the stuff that you can do with this to create a, a graphical environment. Verde più bello. Verde più bello. Verde All the editor. Ah, so I ah, put three exercises only to, mm -hmm. to make. So, uh, okay, mm -hmm. this is interesting. You can install an astropy or simpay or, or another function if you want or using another code that you have to install uh, you can use python to make a, a call to one of the official byte script and pass the output to the script to a python variable using a sub process for example or you can make a GUI using the kind to show the calendar for a month and year given by the user okay so Grazie. 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 Grazie.